Yeah, look at that. Isn't it a beautiful shot out there? Catch, uh, uh, or if you're just waking up, you want to look outside and, and uh, get the view. I mean, this is just beautiful. Stepping out, maybe having some coffee, enjoying the morning before you get your day going. 33 right now, so you are going to find a bit of a chill out there. The north wind uh, it will be with us today, and that's what's going to keep us uh, feeling a little cooler. 24 for that wind chill, and the state will feel that wind coming in today. We've had a little bit more cloud cover in eastern Iowa this morning, uh, even some shower activity overnight, but we are clearing out nicely, so all of us will see wall-to-wall -wall sunshine for today. It's just the wind that will be there, gust about 20 to 25, and that's that north-northwest wind uh, today. Wind chill 15 and now going to waken up very chilly there in Fort Dodge, and then slightly warmer uh, the farther south. You get a tumble feeling uh, about 27 this morning, so the plan are for today. It is going to be a breezy afternoon, but again, have the sunglasses as you head out this morning and this afternoon. Going to be a nice one if you have a midday lunch outdoors. Again, just be aware there could be a little bit of a breeze coming in. Temperatures will fall above average for today as that system pulls out. High pressure moves in. That'll clear us out. There's your four o'clock attempts. Still going to keep the cooler air up to the north. I'll go at Fort Dodge in the low to mid 30s, but you will have a clear sky even through tonight. I think it's going to stay mainly clear. Dipping down in the two the teens up north, the metro area going to stay into the mid 20s. However, tomorrow a warm front will start to approach and that's just going to increase our cloud our cloud cover a little bit. So morning time probably going to start to see the clouds increasing through the midday, partly sunny. And then as we get into the uh, late afternoon, early evening we will clear out nicely as we start to get a south wind coming in and that's just going to keep our warmer temperatures into the week. And in fact, as we go ahead and look at Saturday's forecast, it'll be dry 58 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, warming up into Sunday 60. The thing is with Sunday is we're going to see clouds increasing pretty quickly, and we will see the chance for rain really developing in the evening time frame. This does look like it's going to be a pretty uh, wet system coming in Sunday night into Monday. Rain will be likely, and then as cooler air starts to arrive behind uh, the system, it'll turn windy, and then we could see a little rain snow mix coming in on Tuesday morning with that. Too early to talk about accumulation. However, uh, we will see that chance for rain and snow. Wednesday will start to dry out and warm up into the 40s on Thursday. So some good news there. So we go from, you know, spring like temperatures back to a little wintry weather. Mm -hmm. Uh, over the weekend, so we start off dry at least for Friday and Saturday, but we end the weekend on a wet note.